Fractals are some of the most beautiful patterns to observe. Most often they are depicted as psychedelic artwork or hypnotic visualizations. We find them soothing and transfixing. They are infinite, repetitive, sacred and transcendental. They ripple out from all things and tie them securely into the fabric of reality. The phenomenon of a fractal is much more than it appears on the surface. In their geometry they contain complex mathematics that permeates the entire universe at the smallest and largest scale. The geometry of the universe is fractal. That is to say that all things are, as Terence McKenna said, self-similar across scale. This means that all things are the same at different scales depending on how you look at or think about it. This is the concept of as above, so below. Benoit Mandelbrot first visualised this phenomenon in the Mandelbrot set, using mathematics and complex numbers to create this two-dimensional representation of fractals. I will not go into too much detail about this as it's fairly complex, so I've linked a video in the description detailing the process. A good example of fractals is to look at the repeating patterns that echo through the universe. Neural networks, fungus mycelium, galaxies, ant colonies, the internet, plant roots, population growth, and much, much more, all share the same fundamental patterns. No matter how big or how small the thing, it is the same, or self-similar across a scale. Fractals exist everywhere in nature. It is one of the defining factors that connects all things. To give an example, a tree is made up foremost of its trunk. The trunk splits into branches. Those branches split into more branches, and then twigs, and then the leaves. If you look at the veins of the leaf, they are exactly the same, spreading like the roots. Another example is you. A human is fractal. You recognise yourself as a single organism, yet you are made up of billions of smaller organisms, all working together at different scales to create what you call you. You can go even further and say that all humans also make up a living, thriving organism we call the human race. But even that's not the end. The human race is just one part of a great network of life that has evolved on this planet. All the different organisms on the planet are part of a larger whole. If you really think about it, reproduction is another form of fractal. Two beings coming together to create a smaller being in its image that is relatively the same as what came before. I believe that perspective and consciousness are also fractal. If all other things are fractal, then they must be. We have perspective relative to ourselves, but we too are only a tiny part of a greater whole that we call the universe. Uni means one, and verse means a story or a poem. So we are part of this single story that is a living, self-aware being or organism. And although our perspective is relative to ourselves, the fractal nature of the universe would suggest that this greater whole also has perspective and consciousness relative to itself. This consciousness of the greater whole, I believe, is what Carl Jung refers to as the collective unconscious. It is the sum total of the consciousness of the universe. We have it within us, but our perspective does not allow us to realise or tap into it in daily life. Jung developed the idea of the archetypes. From what I understand, these are stories that play out in our unconscious. So if the universe is a story, then the archetypes represent a story within a story that plays out over a long time. These archetypes affect us directly from our unconscious and play out over the course of our lives. Stories within stories within stories. This is mind-boggling to conceptualise, but considering that fractals are everywhere else, it only makes sense. Fractals are everywhere, all the time. Often they are hidden and demand altered states or shifted perspective to be found. They are material and transcendental. They are the patterns of existence and energy that flows through all things. I am not religious, but I do fully believe that there is a spiritual transcendental part to the universe and all within it. I believe that fractals point to this, but my thoughts on that will have to wait for a later video in the series. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next episode.